Welcome back to another episode of Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we are doing, well, we're actually going back to mm-hmm. a whiskey that we, we, we opened this bottle when we did our reveal of how we did on our advent calendar series thing, but we didn't actually review it. We just cracked it. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to do a quick review of this guy. So this is the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream Cash Strength Bourbon. So they started off with a bourbon, a rye, and then a blend. And then they came out with a bottled and bond release of all those, um, which my understanding, I did read further, uh, all the bottled and bonds were their whiskey. That's why they renamed it. The Pipe Dream Bourbon was called the Grizzly or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they renamed it because it's just their juice. Huh. I didn't, I thought they were just Well, for bottled and bond, you have to... Yeah. It has to all be from one place, and that's not how Pipe Dream's done. Pipe Dream is some of their juice. It's some of juice from Indiana mm-hmm. and some juice from Kentucky. When they went and released these limited editions, I don't know it, what they mean by mm. that, but they call it, right now they're calling it limited releases of the cash drink. It went back to some of theirs, some of Kentucky, some of Indiana. Okay. So this is Pipe Dream. This is their <laughs> bourbon. This is 116.8 proof. They claim... I like the sound of that. Well, they, they claim the proof isn't as high as some other ones that are claim, you know, are cash drink because of where they age it. They're in... San Francisco. Sonoma, yeah, yes. like the Sonoma Northern Valley, California. Napa, somewhere yeah. in that range. Like the cooler weather and the, you know, all that kind of stuff. It didn't spike the proof up as much. Well, there's... I would imagine there's not a whole lot of expansion and contraction in the barrel. There, I would agree. Because yeah. the, the, the temperature doesn't fluctuate that much. Mm-mm. Not the it way that Kentucky does or Indiana does. Or, like you watch a baseball game there and in yeah. July, people have jackets on. Yeah. Well, the June gloom is, yeah. is pretty chilly, yeah. actually, in June for a lot of times. This is a four grain. So it is uh, 74% corn, 20% rye. Four and a half percent malted barley and one and a half percent wheat. Um, I am assuming that the Indiana is MGP. It's a pretty safe assumption. Anyway. And I'm guessing Bardstown. Probably Bardstown for the other the yeah. other Kentucky one. The Pipe Dream. All of them are named after sequoias, so they're named after famous yep. uh, trees over in California. This particular tree, Pipe Dream, is like 374 feet. And it's some ridiculous, like 1,300 years old. Hmm. I was just like, wow, okay. And every bottle you buy, they plant a tree. Yep. <sighs> not much on the nose. I was going to say it's a little muted. Not much. <sighs> All right, I don't I need to reach anything. out. I'm not even getting a lot of proof. I'm not getting anything. It's like 117 proof. It and just it's smells not like really ordinary whiskey. It just smells like whiskey, yeah. That's nice. Got the proof. Yes. So there's a, a good bite from the proof. There's a rye, a nice rye bite that comes Mouth through. Is watering right now. And there's some sweet notes that come through, and I agree, totally like mouth watering type of combination. It's a really solid bottle. I wish it was more available because that in a cocktail would just rock. <laughs> I really see that being in an old fashioned cocktail would just be amazing. I have changed my tune. I made a cocktail over the weekend. Yeah. With that hot honey mix. Okay. It's like, oh, the hot honey probably should, it really won't matter what whiskey I use. I use that copper run. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Did not help the cocktail, did it? All you tasted was a copper run. <laughs> oh. So now I've changed my tune. It's now like, all right, if I enjoy a whiskey and if I want a cocktail, I'm just going to use the whiskey because it's probably going to enhance the cocktail. It's going to make the cocktail better. Normally, yeah. it's just like, I'm just going to grab. Yeah, bottom shelf crap. Like, honestly, I need You're to. You're going to put it in a Coke. Sure. Well, I don't do that. <laughs> I know. I need to keep a handle of the Evan Williams. Evan Williams, because that's like perfect for me. Yeah. Going back to the nose, it does open up. I am getting more rye notes coming through on the nose, but it's not like crazy. It's not peppery. It's a little bit more towards the herb I get side. Like a, almost like a Werther's. The creamy, creamy car- butterscotch, caramel, caramel or toffee okay. on the nose. Going back to it, you're not getting that big rye pop. No, but 
But it's not a bad ride. It's noticeable, pop. but yeah. not, it's, okay. it's not like, there it is. This one, I'm really curious to see what water does to it. I just, I really enjoy the palate. The nose is not overwhelming. Um, it's almost a little muted, but the palate is just like spot on for a high rye bourbon for me. And 20% is that high rye. But for me, that Anything is like over spot 1%. on. High rye for you. What? Anything over 1% is <laughs> high rye for you. But I really, that, I like that. I really like, I, I, am, I enjoy this bottle. I just, I just get a lot of, like a spice burn in the back. I'm not get. I don't get that. I get mouth is sweet. Watering even more. Yeah, with yeah, the Second yeah. part. I get a lot of sweetness around a little bit of spice. I can smell it more, but it didn't change yeah. much. I really thought that was gonna. All right. Well, it's pop. more. My, the nose has changed a little bit for me. It's no so much more the like the Werther's toffee, caramel. I do get some sweetness. Yeah, but like, it's sweet know. and baking spices. It's, it's not. It's almost, not the peppery rye. It's almost a, like when you crack open a, it doesn't matter what cherries. It's when you open that jar of cherries when you're going to put it in your drink and get that kind of cherry sweetness. Yeah, there is a little bit of that, like a maraschino type syrupiness. That's good too. It didn't change it a whole hell of a lot, but. It drinks hotter. There, yeah, it got a little warmer, a little bit more bite on the palate, but the sweetness pops right back. Mm hmm. Ooh. Little, little warmth right at the very top. Like it's not dropping all the way down through the chest, but I get the warmth here. There's a warmth. I got it right, right here, like right where the microphone is. <laughs> I don't. I enjoyed this. This was, uh, this was a, a find at my little honey hole up in New Jersey. I, I went in there and I was looking for a couple other things, and then I, I saw that they had the regular, and then I, so I was like, oh well, all right. If they're getting some of the Redwood Empire, maybe I'll. They have a book of all the stuff that they keep in the back. Mm -hmm. So I open up the book, and they have the Grizzly, which is the bottled and bond bourbon. Yep. Uh, so I was just like, oh, you have that? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he goes back and gets it. I was like, oh, I was like, I forgot the Grizzly is actually the bottled and bond. I was wondering if you had the cash straight. He's like, we've got both. I was like, I want the cash yeah. <laughs> I don't want the bottled and bond because... I actually heard the bottle and bond's not great. What was the difference in price? I didn't ask. I don't know. I didn't. He he just walks with the. Uh, I don't like. You don't ask questions, man. You just you just take. Well, it whatever. may have been worth for the money just to buy both. Buy both. both. Yeah. Well, of all the Redwood Empire that I've had, uh, between the the Emerald Giant and the Pipe Dream and uh, the Monarch Lost Monarch. Lost Mark, is that the white and red label? Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, I got that for my birthday. Which is the blend of the rye and the bourbon. Yeah. This is one of the best things they've put out so far. I really enjoy this one. No, it's, it's very tasty. Yeah, the, the palate. The nose is missing some pieces to it. I it's see just like a I little mean, I soft. See, scooting around the stores in Nashville, I see the original ones. Yeah. I don't see the no. the newer ones. But the palette on this hits like perfect high rye bourbon. This would make a good old fashioned. This yeah. would make a good Manhattan. This would, and not crazy for the proof of seventy bucks. It's not crazy. I would like this with my hot honey old fashioned mix because you get the bite from the proof, and then the, that spice. A little from, spice coming yeah. through. My opinion. This is the best thing they've put out so far. Now, the next trip, maybe I see if they have the cash drink, like, Lost Mark. Mm-hmm. The blend of a burr rye. That could be interesting. I don't think I'll go Ember Giant. I'll just, I don't know if I'd pull that one off. <laughs> mm. Oh, it is very tasty. Well, good find up there. Yeah, so, yeah that was a good Solid one. pour. Super happy to, super happy to grab this. Um, yeah, very happy with the yeah. contents. I don't think many people are disappointed with this one. No, I would agree. I don't think. And if you do. are, I would be curious why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to understand what your thought was. Well, looking forward to tracking down some more. Yes. So, well, we hope you enjoyed our review of the Pipe Dream Cast Strength. It's a very delicious pour. Definitely, if it, you're out and out and about in your travels, definitely if you're somewhere and they've got it, they got it. Go get, for it. Get a two ounce pour. Absolutely. Uh, you won't be disappointed. 
So we hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you, if you did, we'd love to hear what you like about this bottle, what we hit on, what, we, what did we miss? Yeah. But even more probably, we'd love to support the channel. We'd Absolutely. love for you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And subscribe. We put out content like this where we're talking about whiskeys twice a week, mm -hmm. yeah, give or take. It's an, and, easy, uh, it's an easy gig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a hard thing to uh, sample some whiskey and, and really uh, just talk about things that you enjoy doing. So, <laughs> and the hunt, we enjoy right. the hunt. Yep. So there's all of that involved in all of this. So we would enjoy you supporting us and continuing to grow the channel. And uh, see you on the next episode. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. When you do that, can you put like the Batman? <laughs> Pow. <Yeah. laughs>